Proud to serve Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. This is WNEP 16, the news station. Now, Nolan Johannes, Karen Hart, Pilot Jack Rulin in Skycam 16, Chief Meteorologist Tom Clark, and Joe Zone on sports. This is Newswatch 16. Things are looking up tonight for an agency in Lackawanna County that feeds the needy at Thanksgiving. We told you last week about the plight of that organization not being able to get the federal funds in time to buy the food. That's all changed now. Sister Adrian Barrett of Scranton's United Neighborhood Centers has been getting a lot of mail and visitors since the reports of her agency's plight, and they're sending and bringing in donations. This is the money that comes out of my allowance. I put it, I'm starting a little kitty box, and every month, I, whatever I can put in, a dollar or two or five or ten, I put it in there in case of emergency, like this is more or less to me an emergency. Thanks to a lot of people like this man and some assurances from federal sources that more money will eventually be coming from Washington, Sister Barrett now says they'll be able to meet an increasing need this year. Needy families must sign up for the Thanksgiving food at United Neighborhood Centers in Scranton. Another organization that helps those in need is falling into some hard times. This week, Goodwill Industries closed its Philadelphia stores after 65 years because of financial troubles. And while Goodwill claims it's not a nationwide problem, Newswatch 16's Bob Costantini says its stores in northeastern Pennsylvania are in tight straits, too. Goodwill Industries has its regional workshop in Scranton. Here, handicapped people make money fixing up donated clothing and other goods for resale. The items are then shipped to Goodwill thrift stores like this one in Stroudsburg. Elaine Butts makes minimum wage running the shop. Last weekend, she found out the situation for the Northeast region stores. If by January, if we don't make more money, and we have to make at least 500 a week, we're not going to cover our payroll or anything else. Here's a men's sport coat for just $3. An alternative for Goodwill Industries is to raise prices. Of course, that may be self-defeating, considering the purpose of this and other Goodwill stores. The low prices for clothing brings Diane Layton of Bangor to this store. My husband works in, in an outdoor job, and I like to get um, more inexpensive things for him to wear because um, they get dirty. I mm -hmm. like to, to see our money put to good use, too, mm -hmm. you know, to spending it knowing that it's going to help someone out. At three or four dollars per sale, Elaine Butts knows to reach the five hundred dollars per week goal will be tough. But she also knows the alternative. Bob Costantini, News Watch 16, Stroudsburg. Jerry Gartenberg and Action 16 have more for us tonight on a question raised last Friday by state officials about some dolls. Jerry is here with that information. Jerry, what about it? No, and Karen, it turns out that both the Heavenly Kids and the Flower Kids dolls are registered by the State Department of Labor and Industry. Now, both dolls have been tested and approved, and it's perfectly safe for you to go and buy them for your children. Now, why was there confusion last Friday? Well, the samples found by Action 16 in this area didn't have the required state registration tags. Without those registration numbers on those tags, state officials had to start at ground zero. The manufacturers of the dolls told us Monday that the missing tags may have been a production oversight, and apparently that's true. It's too bad there's been confusion for the last five days, but it took that long for the state and the toy makers to agree on the facts. Until they agreed, you and I were left feeling, well, better safe than sorry. But one reminder, it still makes sense when you're buying any stuffed to toy to buy only those that have the state registration tag attached. That's the state's guarantee that the toy is safe. Certainly glad you cleared all that up. Yeah. Once a lot again, of little girls will have a nice Christmas. Right. right. That's the main thing. Okay. okay Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks. News Watch 16 continues with another way to fight cancer. And our chief meteorologist, Tom Clark. Any fighting of the elements outdoors tonight? Yeah, no? Everything is tranquil Wonderful. out there, Nolan. Tonight will be one of the coldest nights of the season, though. So get ready for that. Mm -hmm. And since I am a meteorologist, I thought I'd talk a little bit more about meteors tonight. Who has intelligence, powerful sound, and moves with ease? Only RCA. Introducing the ultimate VCR. It's easily portable. It's intelligent, so you can select by remote control exactly what you want to record 
right from your TV screen. And it has powerful VHS hi-fi sound that's superior to any audio cassette. The ultimate VCR. Save on all RCA VCRs now during Video Value Spectacular at these locations. Let's see if there's any good news outside in the backyard with our meteorologist, Tom Clark. Tom? Okay, Nolan, thank you very much. Uh, it's perfectly clear outside in the backyard tonight. All this week, you should be able to see more than the average number of shooting stars since uh, we're having a meteor shower, which comes to a peak uh, Friday night. Now, today I flew in Skycam 16 to Tawanda, where I had the pleasure of speaking with the 7th and 8th grade students who attend St. Agnes. And what a view Jack and I had up at 8,000 feet. We could see 100 miles out, and it was quite a day. Outside now, the stars are twinkling overhead, and the temperature is falling like a rock, down to 41 now. And the humidity is a lip chapping 33%. The wind northwest at 7, and the old barometer is rising from 30.23. High today, 46 in the wind. The low last night, 31. Record high and low temperatures set way back in 1902 and 1905. Wow. One year ago today, some snow flurries and a high of 41 degrees. Photographer Larry Lavelle spent some time today up in Pike County near Matamoros along the beautiful Delaware River. All right. Day when we see a meteor streak, its altitude is between 30 and 300 miles high. Now, these are made of, of tiny bits of iron which streak through the atmosphere at speeds of up to 100,000 miles per hour. But due to friction in the air, uh, they begin to vaporize. And that's when we see uh, that streak of light. Now, some meteors are big enough to survive the trip, and they come crashing into the Earth with great force, and they're known as meteorites. And astronomers estimate that up to 1,000 meteorites hit the Earth every year. 25 million meteors fall every day over the Earth. And a meteor shower this week, eh, look for it, but wear a warm coat. Now, here's the latest satellite view from 22,000 miles. Look at the clear air over Pennsylvania. But these clouds to the west will begin to move in. Uh, nothing more than a few stray showers over Illinois tonight. And we may get a shower as these clouds move on through, but then a front will push quickly through tomorrow night, and then another surge of cold air is going to come rushing in Friday and Saturday. Now, here's the forecast for tonight. Jack Frost will be out there with his paintbrush tonight. Uh, you might need your ice scraper tomorrow morning. And on the school grounds of St. Agnes in Tawanda, 26 tomorrow morning. Harvey's Lake, 21. How about Mount Pocono at 17 tonight? But that is without wind, all right? Port Carbon, 26. Montandon, Northumberland County, 27 below tonight. Now, the times of sunrise and sunset on a Thursday, 6.53 tomorrow. The sun will set at 4.46. Here's my forecast. Clear, starry skies tonight. 24 will be the low. 23 is the coldest temperature so far this season here in Avoca. Skies becoming cloudy as we head through the day tomorrow. Maybe a shower tomorrow night. 46 the high on Friday. Very windy with some sunshine. Partly sunny on Saturday, some snow flurries likely over the weekend as well. Karen and Nolan, the biggest meteorite ever found on the Earth weighed 45 tons. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's big. We'll, that we'll is be watching big. for that this week, right? Another yeah. one like it. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Thanks Tom. Tom. Joe's own is next. He'll try to clear up some confusion over the high school playoff situation. Plus, Joe starts the hype on the Penn State Notre Dame game. Pickway's rubber ducks aren't just for snow. Warm, cozy feet in the fall. Dry feet in the rain. On sale this week, your choice of three styles, only $15 in women's sizes. Quilted top ducks for girls, just $10. Fabulous rubber ducks with leather collar, just $10. Fashion, selection, quality you rely on. This is today's Pickway Shoes. Well, a lot of interest in the Penn State Notre Dame game coming up this right. Saturday. So it was a week from last Saturday. <laughs> oh, we missed it. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, it was a week from last Saturday. This Saturday. Penn State, as you know, had the nice week off. Now we're
biggest problem this year, injuries, and we'll talk more about that later on this week as we head into the big game. And you can see it here live Saturday. It begins at 12 o'clock, and then right after that, Penn State-Notre Dame game, Oklahoma-Nebraska, and then after that, Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. It just goes on and on. It's all here on 16. High school playoff situation will finally be decided this weekend in Class A. We know Wyoming area, Mount Carmel, and Berwick are in. Mount Carmel, as the wild card, plays at Wyoming area. Berwick will be home with Valley View if the Cougars beat prep Friday night. The title game would be at Berwick for Valley View. Now in the B, Got to calculate it, there's a lot of confusion. Myers beats G.A.R. if they do Friday night, there's a three-way tie. Myers, G.A.R. Hanover. They'll pick a team out of the hat, literally. That team goes as conference champ. One of the other two will be the wild card. The wild card would then play at Honesdale. Tamak would play at the Wyoming Valley, Wyoming Valley, uh, Wyoming area winner. And if G.A.R. wins Friday night, well, they win the conference. They would be home with Tamak. Well, Hanover would be at Honesdale. And don't forget, Bloomsburg still has a shot, too. We should have a good idea Friday night. Class C playoffs all set for this Saturday. Four of our Super 6 teams are in. We previewed one of those games last night. We'll look at the other one tomorrow night. One team and one player dominating play in the NBA early. First, let's take a look at the team Houston. Cleveland took the game to Houston's two big men. Melvin Turpin scores early. Akeem Olajuwon goaltends, but the Rockets soared. Lewis Lloyd right there on a steal. The Rockets' twin towers go to work. Sampson had 17. Olajuwon slammed in 19 more. Added some powerful defensive plays as Houston beat Cleveland 106-98. Now, in Chicago, this is the player. Michael Jordan. I want you to take a look. The Bulls rookie scored a career-high 45 points. The Spurs did lead in the game. George Gervin paced San Antonio with 28, but Jordan was unstoppable. The Bulls made the comeback complete, beat the San Antonio Spurs 120-117. And then in Los Angeles, Darwin Cook had a good game for New Jersey. He scored 22. The Nets built an 11-point lead. And 99-90 in New York, the win there. Boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that Michael Jordan has turned that team around like that. Exactly. Or like that. Good basketball. Okay. Thanks, Good. Joe. Thanks, Joe. Stay with us. We'll visit with Wednesday's Child Next. Tonight, the story of Joshua, a seven-year-old in need of a friend. When America was young, beer was something special, brewed in small batches by small brewers all across the land. Only one remains, Yingling. That's right. Five generations of the Yingling family have been helping us quench our thirst since 1829. What a tradition. What a great beer. America's oldest is still America's best. Yingling. Tonight, News Watch 16 brings back our series of reports we call Wednesday's Child. We do them in cooperation with the Big Brother Big Sister organizations in both Lackawanna and Luzerne counties. It's a reminder that there are young people who are in great need of an adult friend other than their single parent. The need is especially great for men to volunteer as big brothers and perhaps be matched up with a little guy like Joshua. His mom works and he's an energetic, talkative seven-year-old who likes his world of school, daycare after school, bike riding, watching TV, and playing with some friends. But Joshua does not have a dad or a big brother to talk with. Every day, in every way, it's getting better and better. For this one bright afternoon, we talked and walked and threw stones into the Susquehanna. Tell me something, Josh. Why would you like a big brother? Because he can play baseball with me and can play Kill the Man. Kill the Man's really fun. It is? Yeah. What is it? Well, Kill the Man is when some just somebody throws the ball up and whoever catches it has to run with it to two touchdowns. Mm -hmm. If they get tackled, they have to throw the ball up and somebody else will catch it and they'll run and get the two touchdowns if they get tackled. There are over 100 young Joshuas in our area who have asked for a big brother to share their world once a week or whenever a regular visit can happen. If you can be a friend to a kid from 7 to 17, call Big Brothers. They're listed in the phone book in Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, and Hazleton. 
<laughs> How come you didn't roll down the hill like that? Well, he, he asked me to, but I said, I don't know, you know, all the duds that I have. And I'll do it next time, though, Joshua. I I'm promise. glad you're bringing back Wednesday's shot. <laughs> I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of good buddies. Okay, good. Well, that's News Watch 16 for this Wednesday. Be sure to join us tonight on the update when we'll be showing you how firemen in Port Jervis were given a helping hand while battling today's big fire. World News Tonight is next with a story on the shuttle's second success in space, plus the latest on Baby Faye. We'll all be back for the update at 11. For the team, thank you for joining us. Enjoy your evening.